a highly debated topic and question that gets asked time and time again is Mac versus Windows. Which is better for engineers, specifically mechanical engineers? Having been a user of both Mac and PC for over 10 years, I really don't understand why this is even a question. I studied mechanical engineering in university and grad school and worked as a mechanical engineer in industry for over four years. So I'm very familiar with both systems and want to share my experience with you guys. I'll make a recommendation for which operating system you should use based on whether you're a mechanical engineering student or a mechanical engineer working in industry. Look, let's just cut to the chase. Basically, Windows is just better if you're going to be using CAD or CAE software or doing data acquisition, which there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you will be. Okay, just get a Windows and call it a day. All of the popular CAD softwares like SOLIDWORKS, Creo, Inventor, Solid Edge, NX, and Katia do not run on Mac and only support Windows. Every university and company that I know of uses these to teach and design products, so don't even bother with a Mac. If you want to use Fusion 360 or FreeCAD, which is supported on Mac, be my guest. Same goes for CAE simulation software. You won't be able to use SOLIDWORKS or Creo simulation and standalone simulation programs like ANSYS directly on a Mac. Might I mention most engineers are also hardcore gamers and you'll want a Windows to play games as well. Now, I'm sure if you're an Apple or Mac fan, I've already pissed you off by this point in the video. You might be saying, well, I can just run bootcamp and install Windows on my Mac. Look, to me, that just defeats the entire purpose of owning a Mac if you're just going to install Windows on it and partition your hard drive. You're bound to run into hardware limitations and overheating once you start catting complicated parts and assemblies with huge file sizes. Then some of you are probably gonna ask, what if I get a beefy spec'd out MacBook Pro with a M2 Pro or M2 Mac Silicon processor and run Windows on a virtual machine such as Parallels? If you guys don't know, unlike bootcamp parallels allows you to simultaneously run and switch between mac and windows the cheapest is the 100 standard version that offers 8 gigabytes of vram and four cpus this will likely not be enough if you are planning to use cad as it does not include the ability to run graphics intensive windows applications however you can throw in an extra 20 dollars and get the pro edition which includes a substantial upgrade to the features including 128 gigabytes of vram and 32 v cpus as well as 24 7 phone and email support even though this does make it a lot more convenient to run Windows only programs on your Mac, virtual machines add quite a lot of extra performance overhead and will be noticeably slower than native Windows because the computer has to run a whole nother operating system. You'll also have to drop around three grand for a MacBook Pro and an extra $100 for Parallels. Now, I doubt any of you will have that kind of money as a student Unless your parents are loaded, of course. So if you're a huge Apple fan, a better way to go is to get a capable Windows PC to run all of your CAD, CAE simulation, and data analysis programs and dropping another one grand on a MacBook Air or iPad Pro for the rest of your workflow, such as taking notes, studying, making presentations, and digital art. Now, there are several things that Mac is just simply better than Windows at. For example, there is a great selection of applications for note-taking only available for iOS and Mac OS, such as Notability and GoodNotes to increase your productivity in the classroom. You also have the option to make stunning presentations with Keynote, which I think is infinitely better than PowerPoint. I also add that AirDrop, which is Apple's proprietary feature, is a luxury to have and makes transferring files between your Apple devices a breeze. Now, before we move on, regardless if you're using a Mac or Windows, I highly recommend getting Atlas VPN, the sponsor of today's video. If you didn't know, all of your private information stored in your emails and on the cloud is at risk of getting stolen. There's so many people trying to gain access to them, whether it's data aggregators or people with much more malicious 
intent. Atlas VPN encrypts and secures your personal information before it even goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your private info, they're not going to have access to it. A friend of mine didn't use a VPN to hide their IP address and someone was able to track their location in real time. Really scary stuff. Also on the entertainment side, for example, if you're in the US, you won't be able to watch a lot of TV shows like Rick and Morty or The Big Bang Theory on Netflix, but you can actually utilize Atlas VPN to make sites like Netflix think you're in the UK or Australia, so you have access to all of your favorite TV shows and movies. You can now get a three-year subscription of Atlas VPN for just $1.83 a month plus an extra three months. Months. Try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for any reason, get your money back. This is a limited time offer, so if you're interested, check out my link in the description below. All right, so basically in a nutshell, get a Windows PC to run all of your mechanical engineer related programs. And if you absolutely must have an Apple product, get a MacBook Air or iPad to boost your productivity when it comes to studying, taking notes, making presentations, and any visuals. Generally, you can get a Windows PC with 30 to 50% better specs than a MacBook Pro for the same price. Sure, the overall build quality will likely not be as good as a MacBook Pro, but it will be noticeably more powerful. Now, in terms of which PC specs you need, it's pretty straightforward. Both Intel and AMD CPUs are pretty much the same. AMD tends to be somewhat more affordable. Get a 12th generation Intel i7 or AMD Ryzen 7 CPU or above. A 13th generation Intel i9 or Ryzen 9 7000 series will be even better if you have the money. Now a 16 gigabyte RAM is the minimum requirement and will work just fine, but I do recommend getting a 32 gigabyte RAM for a significantly smoother and quicker operation, especially when you're multitasking. Many times you'll be using your CAD program, which is very memory intensive, along with a billion tabs open in your internet browser and a bunch of programs like Excel. Excel, MATLAB, and whatever else you use open at the same time. So that's why I recommend getting a 32 gigabyte RAM. Now my school had a bunch of desktop computers with CAD programs installed on them that students could access. And if this is your case, save some money and just get a PC with a 16 gigabyte RAM. For the GPU, do not get a PC with integrated graphics. You want a dedicated graphics card, either an NVIDIA RTX 30 or 40 series, or AMD Radeon RX 6800 or 7900. This is particularly important if you are working on complicated parts or assemblies or post-processing simulation results. For storage, anywhere between 512 gigabytes and one terabyte SSD will be good enough. Now, in terms of which laptops to get, I'll probably make a more in-depth video on this, but I do recommend getting a gaming laptop. Something like an HP Omen, which is what I used in school, an Asus Zephyrus, or an Acer Nitro. A Dell XPS 15 or 17 is also a pretty solid laptop. I've included the links for these laptops in the description below for any of you who are interested. All right, guys, that's it for today. Mac versus PC. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to check out my video here where I talk about all of the software that mechanical engineers use. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.